Hey guys, I'm Britton Lynn and welcome to Inside the Huddle. As you know from last episode with Alfred McCullough, this year we'll be profiling all kinds of players, from the unsung heroes to the standouts. This second episode, you'll have a chance to get to know redshirt sophomore linebacker Dante Hightower from Lewisburg, Tennessee. Hightower will be a major factor in heading up the Crimson Tide's defense this season. Back in high school, Hightower was named the state's defensive MVP by the Nashville Tennessean, and he was named Class 3A Mr. Football in his state. Now's your chance to finally get to meet Dante Hightower. Dante Hightower came into last season ready to compete, but was forced to leave early in the fourth game with a torn ACL. This year, Hightower's recovered. That's, that's probably not a word that I could I could probably say to be back. I mean, it's been a whole it's been almost a whole year, so I'm glad I'm I'm glad to finally get back out there and, and show everybody what I've been working on and what I got. But for the long run, it kind of helped me. It helped me realize that you know you can't always play off pure athleticism. You kind of got you always got to work with fundamentals as well. Um, you know, it, it also helped me by you know learning the defense as well as I did. Dante's a great guy. First of all, he's a uh, he's a leader, proven leader. And uh, I mean, to come back from injury like he has, uh, it's, it's something to be noted for. And I mean, he's excelling. I mean, from pass coverage to blocking, uh, taking on blocks. He's not a guy you like to go up against every day, but he makes you better. And, uh, and Dante makes our team better, and he's a great player. He's really worked through. Uh, it's always difficult when you come back from an injury, you know, when you're off for a long time, you know, getting yourself back in the kind of shape that you're used to being in. And he, he's really done a good job of sustaining and uh, continually improving that. Uh, he's got his weight down to where, you know, he's um, got his speed and explosiveness back. And we've, we've just been really pleased with, you know, his leadership, what he's done, how he's affected the other players. Um, and, he, and he's done a good job of making the calls. Last year, Hightower watched from the sidelines as Alabama became national champions. But this year, he's no spectator. Dante, he's just like one of those guys who, like, after flex, um, he'll say, match my intensity. And throughout the whole practice, he has extreme intensity in everything he does. Even though he's tired, he's running full speed to the ball. So that's just something that goes a long way because not everybody's able to do that. Uh, when you get tired in practice, some people just shut down and their body doesn't work. And with him, it's like he gets tired and he can go past that wall and continue to push himself. Dante is like a, a mix of a rah-rah guy and a guy that leads by example. He's just one of those leaders on the team that the younger guys look up to. They know that he's a model of what Coach Saban expects on the football team. Well, Dante's done a good job for us. He's always been a, a vocal guy. He's been a, a good team leader for us as far as um, his preparation and the way he, he, he approaches the game. He, he really has a, a, great, a great respect for the game. I think it's an honor being able to come in and step in the way I did and uh, be one of the guys that, be one of the guys that my teammates look, look forward to for, uh, for guidance. Despite the pressure of quarterbacking the defense, Hightower's already shown his ability to perform under high-stress situations in the past. After being one of only two true freshmen to be a regular starter for the Tide in 2008. For ESPNU Campus Connection, I'm Burton Lynn. I hope you all enjoyed getting to know Dante Hightower in this second episode. If you have any player ideas or feedback, make sure to catch up with me on Twitter at at Britton Lynn. Stay tuned for next week's where you'll have a chance to meet a player with one of the most important jobs on the field, protecting the quarterback and directing the rest of the offensive line so they can do the same. So make sure to tune in next week so you can get to know William Vallejos, or as coach calls him, nachos. Thanks for watching Inside the Huddle. I'm your host, Britton Lynn.